Hello and welcome to another episode of Kuya Dev Tidbits Podcast. I am Rem, your Kuya Dev. And for today's episode, I want to talk about the most or the least effective uh, way of landing that dream job. Especially if you're a career shifter or a career start- starter. Iba na kasi pagka medyo may experience ka na eh. Iba yon, iba yung iba yung situation na yon. Because if uh, may experience ka na, it opens up a lot of uh, doors. But uh, if you're a career starter or a career shifter, um this is the worst one of the worst ways of landing that job or the least effective way of landing your first job so yung tinutukoy ko is yung traditional way of applying for work which is submitting your resume and hoping against hope na ma-consider ka or kahit na matawagan ka man lang for an interview why do I say that it's the least effective way kasi it's the way that everyone or you know the vast majority of job seekers do yun yung halos lahat kayo lahat tayo ganun ang ginagawa um, sabi na resume tapos bahala na si HR na mamili kung sino yung tatawagin for interview or bahala na kasi sino yung nagre-recruit na no? uh, kasi sa tulad sa current company ko wala na kaming HR ako yung uh, sa, sa team namin ako yung nagsasala ko ng mga applicants but uh, just the same you know pagka maraming resume maraming application so less chances of ano of of getting that interview no? wala pa nga tayo dun sa landing that job eh parang getting that interview pa lang eh So, siyempre, pag mas marami, mas marami yung gumagawa, mas malit yung chance na makalusot ka for that interview. So, since nga pare-pareho na iniisip, pare-pareho na ginagawa. And it lessens the effectiveness of the resume or the traditional way of applying for jobs. So, ano ba sa tingin ko yung, ano, yung mas effective? na naparaan. I'm not saying naman na parang i-abandon mo na 'yon kasi syempre sayang din naman baka naman talaga makachamba ka, 'di ba? Na may isang company diyan na you know, uh, maswertehan ka doon sa araw na 'yon, medyo yung HR o si sino man yung nagre-review ng mga applications or ng mga resume. Maswertehan ka, maganda yung araw niya. kapag kape siya sa umaga as na tiyempohan niya yung resume mo tapos oh, okay to ah sige nga try natin syempre ayaw naman natin mawala yung chance na yon so just continue doing that you know, uh, that traditional way of applications uh, through resume and you know uh, finding those job applications or job posts on websites like uh Job Street, or even yung sa amin, tulad sa amin, uh, we cater to to fresh graduates and career starters uh, sa Prospel. Sa amin, ah, uh, plug ko na rin, Prospel, and Prospel, specifically, Prospel Philippines. Search na lang sa Google. Uh, it's uh, P-R-O-S-P-L-E. So, yung job job postings namin doon specific, specifically catered to career starters and uh, new grads new grads and even career shifters so don't you know don't stop applying through those platforms and sending resumes you know that's the traditional way and uh, you, we, we still need that parang yun yung baseline but You know, uh, let's go to what I think. You know, the most effective way of landing that 
interview, that initial interview. Uh, may ma-consider ka man lang for that interview. Actually, uh, in all honesty, the best way is to find multiple ways of getting that interview. Kasi pagka isa lang yan, less chances, di ba? Tapos yung isa, isa, pang, isa pang way na pinili mo, yung pa yung ginagawa ng lahat, you have less chances of getting, getting that interview. So, damihan mo yung, yung, yung mong diskarte mo. Di ba? How can you do that? How, how, il, ano pa ba yung ibang ways, di ba? Kasi ako mismo, nung nagsisimula ako, hindi ko alam eh, na may ganito palang paraan. Yung mga, the ways to hack uh, or how you could hack uh, your way towards that first interview. Ngayon ko na lang nalaman niya, no? nag, uh, nag, uh, nag, uh, nakapag-career shift ako eh. One of the ways is, you know, of course, uh, one of the more obvious, way is, obvious ways is um, gawin nyo solid yung LinkedIn profile nyo. Kasi sa LinkedIn, baliktad yung, ano, eh, baliktad yung, yung dynamic. Sa tulad ng Job Street or uh, Prospal, ikaw yung lumalapit dun sa HR or dun sa company, but in LinkedIn, baliktad. Sila yung lumalapit sa'yo. Sila yung nag-recruit sa'yo. Although you can, you can also do uh, the, the other way around, but usually, sila yung lalapit sa'yo. So, build a very solid LinkedIn page. What do I mean? Parang ano yan eh. Parang sa Google yan, uh, Google search yan, you have to optimize your profile para madali ma-search. Kasi, syempre, yung mga recruiters na yan, they use the search bar to find suitable candidate candidates. So, optimize your LinkedIn page or LinkedIn profile para madali kang ma-search. So, similar to search engine optimization, you do that, those techniques dun sa LinkedIn profile mo. How? By highlighting keywords or using keywords for that job that you want. Like, for example, sa akin, sa, sa, sa case ko, I want JavaScript jobs and React jobs. So, malinaw sa profile ko na I have skills for React and JavaScript. So, tinadtad ko talaga ng keywords yung yung LinkedIn profile ko. And even sa dun sa mga past experiences ko and the courses that I took, yeah, I I all I really put uh, my Udemy courses there. Uh yung mga certificates ko although in reality they don't really matter in in in, in um uh, in landing that job but because they contain keywords uh, nung, nung nung kailangan ko na trabaho or you, the, the the job that I want I put you uh, everything yung mga online courses na kinuha ko na related sa sa job na gusto ko ilalagay ko doon sa LinkedIn profile ko. So, napupuno ng keywords uh, or yung mga, critical na, yung mga critical na keywords, napupuno yung LinkedIn profile ko. So, that makes me uh, highly searchable sa, sa LinkedIn. And it's very effective yung LinkedIn na yan. Another way, so, nagawa mo na yan, di ba? Kapag nagkasabit ka na ng resume through Jobstreet or Prospel, and you've optimized your LinkedIn profile, you should uh, find a way to grow yun, your network na geared towards the industry or the job na gusto mo puntahan. What I mean here is, lalo na sa tech industry, be visible, tapos, Join meetups. Ah, sa, tech, sa tech industry, ganun eh. Napakarami meetups. Kunwari, 
um, you want to be a data scientist. So join a group. Marami dyan sa Facebook on data science. Tapos pagka may mga meetups sila, sali ka. Then, you know, you know mahirap, medyo mahirap pagka introvert ka, but you have to mingle. Eh. You have to mingle with them and find ways to 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 create those connections. Kasi dun sa mga connections na yon, baka may opportunities na hindi lumalabas sa mga job portals. And usually, that is the case. Sabi nga nila eh, the best jobs are found through networks. Through networking. And of course, hindi mo na, huwag mo namang gawin na parang, ano, gagamitin mo yung mga tao dun sa mga meetups. Huwag mo, na, huwag mo, na, huwag mo namang ganun. Build genuine friendships. You know? And, you know, try to find mentors. Na make, make, it, make it known na Hey, I'm trying to transition. Ngunari, ikaw, career shifter ka. You're trying to transition to data science. And make it known that you're trying to learn things, or trying to getting courses or self-learning data science concepts. And, syempre, um, <clears throat> ano yan eh, name recall yan eh, and if, uh, network ka no rin yan eh, uh, effect din yan eh. Ginagawa ko rin yan when I recruit eh. Na, before I even try to find people or try to find talent in job portals, pag ako na yung nag-recruit, tumitingin muna ako sa network ko. So, actually, currently, sa, sa, sa Prosper, in JavaScript team, almost, uh, actually, all of them pala, all of them are from my network. You know, first degree, second degree na akilala. Ganun kami nag-recruit. So, mas madali. Mas madali para sa akin uh, as, a, as a someone who's recruiting for my team na na kumuha ng talent and hindi na kailangan pahirapan. Na padadaanin ko pa sa, sa exam kasi I hate giving exams at alam ko na rin yung ugali, more or less. Kung hindi ko man siya kakilala, kakilala lang kakilala, so medyo may, may vetting na doon. And in, 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 in some way, uh, actually in a very large way, nakakatipid yung company. Dahil hindi namin mag, kailangan magbayad sa mga job portals na yan to get talent. So, napakahalaga ng network sa amin. At, at least sa akin. Uh, na, pagka kailangan ko lang talent, hindi na mahirap yun nagiging trabaho ko to to recruit people kasi uh, kukuha na lang ako sa network ko so networking is very important sa ganun sa ganung aspeto another way of getting that first interview or getting that job ultimately is being really visible online sabi ko nga, learn in public. Yan sa mga pinaka-effective talaga sa tech industry is create your Twitter, your Twitter account and post yung ano mo, yung mga learnings mo araw-araw. Mga nag-aaral ka, di ba? Today I learned ganito. Ah, si post mo. Post mo lang. Tapos lagyan mo ng, ano, ng effective uh, hashtagging na tulad ng ano ba yung mga effective hashtags. Like, May mga projects sila eh, mga campaigns like 30, 30 days of coding or 100 days of coding. Hashtag 100 days of coding. And, and a lot of people follow those hashtags. Or React developer or learning React. Mga ganun. Uh, effective ha uh, hashtagging lang. And eventually, baka makachamba ka na someone who is... Ano, who is uh, uh, trying to recruit people on Twitter and you'd, you'd be surprised maraming nangyayaring ganon na they, they recruit people through Twitter and some even recruit career shifters or career starters through Twitter they try to find the talent there kasi mura eh, hindi, hindi mo kailangan magbayad ng malaki eh. you just follow hashtags eh. and malay mo makachamba ka and in that way 
na na develop din yung ano yung 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 habit of creating documentation. Sinapakalaga rin yan sa de- sa sa tech industry pagka nakapasok ka na eh. Uh, you document uh, things that you do. So, doon pa lang through tweeting every day uh, yung mga learnings mo. Na expose ka, of course, doon sa mga recruiters sa Twitter and na develop yung habit of documenting. Same way, sa Facebook din, ganyan din. Um, you'd be surprised na yung isang job opportunity ko dati na nakuha, eh, nakuha ako sa Facebook. Kasi he found that I was posting on on React.js uh, on the React.js Philippines group. I was very active. And piniyam ako nung eventual boss ko na would you be interested in in um, having a role on my startup ganyan and through facebook diba na kahit na ganun ka toxic si facebook <laughs> currently it it was still ano, i was able to use facebook to my advantage kasi nga you know i was learning in public i was very active in social media and yeah so it opened up another another opportunity to me for, for me Yeah. Yep. Uh, another, an- siguro, i- another level above that is to, you know, create your social media presence. Ito, tong ginagawa kong to, uh, pwede mong gayahin, you know, na buo ka ng blog or vlog or even TikTok kung talagang yun yung, ano, kung, kung trip mo yon. Use it to 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 make your 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 personal brand or to grow your personal brand. Again, just recently, another startup, uh, Filipino startup, uh, approached me and tried to recruit me because they found Kuya Dev, the the, the Facebook page and my uh, my podcast. They found it. They found uh, they 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 thought it was interesting and they uh, they. Um, what you call this? Uh, nagustuhan nila yung ginagawa ko. So they approached me and you know, they asked me if I was interested in joining. Unfortunately, currently na mga recruiters dyan, I'm not interested currently in leaving my current job. So uh, I had to decline. But the 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 job was really enticing, but I I I just preferred again networking, di ba? I referred another uh, person that I knew and that I thought uh, I believed that would contribute a lot in their startup and he was a really a promising talent uh, and I referred him to that startup and you no know, eventually nagustuhan nga nila yung 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 tao uh, nila and I think he's really doing a good job uh, sa dun sa company na yon So, ayun, medyo nagpapatong-patong na, di ba? Networking, uh, social media presence, building your personal brand. Tapos, Facebook. Di ba? Parang, yung mga ganun, maraming channels na, na binubuo ka, na binubuksan. So, although binubuo ko tong Kuya Dev for, 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 for you, for, for the career starter and career shifter, especially in tech, syempre, may, may ano rin yan, may, may, onting ano rin onting uh, uh, may may onting motivation din na na it helps build my brand and helps me uh, uh, be recognizable sa, sa sa mga recruiters and employers diba? <clears throat> so although di ako na nababayaran dito walang bayad to uh, there's still that ad- ano that uh, that that advantage or that uh what you call this no, no, i'm really at a loss for words today um that basta ganun <laughs> no, may nakukuha ako from from the podcast nakatulong ako pero may nakukuha rin ako in it, in return although hindi ko pa na-realize ngayon kasi uh, hindi ko pa na na, na 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 take advantage kasi hindi naman ako nagahanap ng trabaho di ba 
but eventually it will come and uh, this will came, this 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 podcast will really help me yeah. it's another channel ika nga so i guess that's uh, that's a lot uh, a lot na diba a lot of channels na nabigay ko a lot, a lot of ways to to land that first interview but yet uh, meron pa isa I knew someone who contributed in an open source project. Ano lang, diligent lang, parang every other day or I think even araw-araw, talagang contribute siya lang contribute. And nagsimula siya parang ano lang, eh, mga small lang na mga bagay-bagay, nagsimula sa parang documentation lang. Then eventually, tinulungan siya ng mga, ng mga maintainers ng project, ng open source project. Tapos, agad sa lumalaki na yung contribution niya dun sa, dun sa project. And eventually, sabi nung open source project, would you want to be an employee of our, or would you want to work for us? Parang ganon. Officially. So, OFW yung ano yan, yung, yung, yung kakilala kong yun eh. And he wasn't actually uh, a developer yet. Parang, I think electrical engineer ba siya? I forgot. But, ayun, yun yung naging ticket niya to, to finally jump from engineering to web development. So, inabsorbed siya nung company or nung mga maintainers or the company behind that open source project. So, that's another another way. Ano? Na, na, baka, na, baka, baka, baka. Maka, maka ano ka maka mapansin ka ng mga tao and they they will try to recruit you you know so maraming paraan maraming paraan wag lang wag lang kayong maka, maka, wag kayong makampa wag, wag kayong makampante sa resume lang kasi marami kang kalaban pag yun lang yung ginawa mo so you have to be creative you have to find other ways to get or to 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 finally land that first interview no pag nakampante ka dun sa resume lang yung traditional way matatagal ang kalalo no yung iba nga parang ginagawa nila kino cold email or kino cold uh, message sa linkedin yung mga empleyado sa ano eh sa sa company na gusto nilang pasukan eh Parang, how do I get inside or how do I get that first interview? Parang ganun. Well, hihingi, na, hihingi ng tips. Minsan, yung kausap nila, although cold email yan, di naman nila kakila, kakilala talaga, minsan tinutulungan sila to to uh, to get that interview. So, that's an, again, that's another way. So, be, ano, be, be really creative for, uh, for uh, you, career shifter, career starter, even yung someone na gustong tumalong to from one company to another, be really creative. You know? Take charge of your of your applications. Huwag, huwag yung passive. Passive way yun eh. Actually, yung bagay ka lang resume, antayin mo sila. That's a very passive way of of application, uh, of applying for a job. Pero kung active ka, you, have, you take that active stance, hahanap ka talaga ng paraan. So, yun lang. Uh, thank you. That's for, uh, that's that's it for uh, today's episode. And thank you for uh, supporting the podcast. Medyo malapit na yung yung interview ni Jameson. So, this is, I think, episode 8. So, two episodes na lang. Lalabas ko na yung uh, interview ko with, interview ko with Jimson Sulit, the data scientist. So, thank you. Thank you for uh, for listening, for watching, kung nasa YouTube ka. And see you all again on the next episode. Bye.